God, they're just... There's no other fish like the tarpon. I don't care. It's, I, I don't... If there's only one thing I can fish for for the rest of my life, of course it's tarpon. Like, I think you could probably take away everything else in my life other than my family. And as long as I have tarpon, I'm all right. I'm cool. Big group of them. They're gonna start daisy chaining, slosh sliding around. Here you go, buddy. Oh, move it, move it, move it. Got him. Oh, move it slowly, move it. Easy, easy. Got him. Wow, wow, was that? Ah. wow, was that awesome? Yeah. Wow, was that awesome? Here he goes, baby. Good job, oh. buddy. Oh. Woo. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Now that was awesome. Oh my God. That was awesome. God, he came hard. Oh, woo. God. Bang, bang, bang. You don't like that, get out. Sick. <laughs> Thanks, man. OK, I got some more. Keep going slow. Here he comes. Keep going, keep going slow. Keep going. Got him. Pull. Let him go. Nasty. Nasty, buddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at the shoes on that thing, huh? Beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got him, man. I got him, man. You got him? I got him. That's a big fish. Look at the size of that fish. That's a beast, dude. Oh. Ah, look at that. Dude, that's a giant fish. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Shaw, shaw. Shaw, Dave Mangum. I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't know it was him. It was this tarpon series called Location X. Basically, they're trying to hide where the fishing is and who the guide is. The guy was obsessed when I was a kid watching this. And I'm like, this guy's the man. You know, this guy is obsessed with tarpon. And I remember watching it um, when I was working at Worldwide Sportsman uh, as a kid. And it's just playing over and over in the fly area. And I would wander over there while I'm so act like I'm putting something on the peg. And I'm just sitting there. And I always thought for years, I'm like, man, I want to know who that guy is. And then when social media came to me and I started watching this and started following Shallow Water Expeditions, which is Dave Mangum, I, I was like, oh my God, that's, that's this guy. You know, he kind of has like that rough biker gnarliness to him, but he really, you know, is a sweetheart of a guy and he's just passionate about what he does. And so you get an opportunity to get him on the boat and getting to know who he is, you know, you get to know somebody pretty well. Uh, spend the time on the boat and talking about something we both are passionate and have love for. You can tell that this guy is the real deal when it comes to what he does and what he cares about. Ever since I was young, I'd kind of, I think obsessions or things I'd focus on. And I really think that that always comes out of like creativity. You know what I mean? Whether like when I was young, I was super into art. It's like whatever it is I was on, no matter what in my life, I would just kind of there. I just focus there and go as deep as you can possibly go down the rabbit hole. And uh, you know, I think finally I found fishing and the rabbit hole is endless. I'm so nervous right now. That's a fish, start casting, he's going left. This is the one we want right here, my man. Drop it, move it, move it, S slow, move a little more, move a little more, move a little more, and faster, 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 keep going. Oh, he went right on oh, okay. he slid Sorry. in on us. Coming in from the left, I guess. Yeah, you. he slid in on us at the last second. 11 o'clock, slotting. Oh, this is beautiful here. Mm. That'll make him nervous. This is the shot you want, dude. Yes, it is. All right, go ahead, brother. Don't worry about me. You're good. Three feet in front of him. Wait, barely move it. Slow, slow. Here it comes. Easy. Here it comes. Easy. Got. Oh, what? Try the other ones. Do the back fish. Do the back fish. Move it. Slow. Go. Trip, 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 go. Good job, Dave. Good job. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was nasty. That was nasty. Woo. Dude. I love that you're patient. And then he came back, did it again. I got some more over here, brother. 
Woo! Oh, the fly's gone. No nice way. Fight. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was that was a sweet was bite though. Nasty bite. <laughs> They're nasty bite. Mm. Loved it. Freaking vaulted. And then it came out, and I'm like, oh, he's gonna. That one was he's big, coming. That was the bigger one out of the group. Too. And now he's gonna come back, and all of a sudden, boom. boom. Okay. He. Oh, you didn't want like, that. God, I don't feel him. Oh wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lom the shit out of it. That was cool. Man, that was just tarp fishing, dude. Let's do that again. About eight times. Yeah. Look at the size of that fish. This is a beast, dude. Beast mode. Fish the legend. At Bonefish and Tarp and Trust, we're working to make sure that you'll find healthy populations of bonefish, tarpon, and permit at your favorite destinations. From the Florida Keys to Belize, from the Bahamas to Mexico. But we need your help to fight for clean water and healthy habitats. After all, if we don't conserve our flats fisheries, who will? Please support us today at btt.org and help us bring science to the fight. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats, Fish the Legend. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Florida Marine Tracks, clarity in navigation. And by Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. Now, 60 seconds in the mill house. Timmy, thank you for being on the mill house. Thanks for having me. You've been around a long time here in the Keys, but I think that your notoriety through your painting, your fishing skills, um, all the things that you are passionate about. I mean, there are so many things that, that are contained in the Tim Borski world. Persona. Finish this statement. Tim Borski is. Tim Borski is a hunter. Whether he's hunting fish, hunting birds, hunting deer, hunting snakes, looking for something specifically, doing it correctly, and then achieving that has always offered me great rewards great satisfaction. How does that translate to you being an artist? You know, trying to recreate in my own particular style or way or head what I see through my experiences in the field, around the house, in the studio, while driving the truck around and putting that on a piece of paper or canvas or a board where I know it will almost assuredly outlive me. I like the idea of that. To watch this and other full-length episodes of the Millhouse podcast, go to YouTube or wherever you find your podcasts. What is this, right here? That's a big fish, that one there. Take your time, get out to the left of them and pass. There, perfect. Move it very slowly. Keep going nice and easy, easy. Keep moving it, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Got him. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Woo -hoo -hoo! We got a bite. Got a bite, baby. Here he goes. Oh boy, he's freaking out. He's freaking out. We got one. Yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that's so awesome. Good job, Dave. We got a nibble. Got a little nibble there. Nice. I think he ate. Good shot, buddy. Good shot. I love it, man. Gin clear water. Sipping little flies. Oh. Sipping, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. Sipping. Yeah. Got a bite. Got a bite, baby. 
Dave's a fishing guide in Florida. He's up in more the, the western corner of Florida, uh, Appalachia, Carabelle. And, you know, he travels all over to fish, but, you know, he mainly lives there because of this tarpon migration. And he has a different breed of tarpon. On that west coast, those are, those are large animals. Those fish average around 100 plus pounds. And, you know, you're getting shots daily, sometimes up to 200 pounds. And, it, and that's what he's there for. That's what he calls 120, um, his Yeti film is 120, it's 120 days of, of the year that he's just obsessed with the tournament. Um, I don't know how, how I would define my obsession with the fish. I think throughout my life, anytime I've really gotten into something or really was interested in it, I was like all in every freaking thing about it. I just charge at it 100% and tarpon certainly has kind of, you know, grayed out everything else <laughs> more so than anything else in my life that I've kind of pointed myself at. And it seems to be getting worse, you know. <laughs> I think of the 120 days of my year that are coming up all all year long. It's, I don't know if it's healthy, it's, uh, <laughs> it just is who I am. Come on, cutie. Come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. Oh, come on, sweet tea. It's amazing how everyone has a different personality. I am. Right? Every single one. Good job, man. Good job. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, that's still awesome. Man. So awesome. Finally, we get to spend some days on the water. That's again. right. Right? Finally. Finally. Many that's years. A, and we get to catch tarpon while doing it. I just love seeing your style, you know, what you do, how you do it. That's it. That's it, baby. We're going to slide her in then. Now you're gonna probably jump and hit me right in the head, huh? Gonna stab you with the hook. It's my favorite. Thank you, pretty girl. Thank, Thank you for you, biting our fly. I'm drop the fly out. Okay, okay. Oh, beautiful. It's like when they get to like that 40 some range, right? The bucket now. Look at that. Put this hand under her body and kind of give me a broadside a little. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Gorgeous. Killer. Killer. All right, I'm going to pull the fly out of her. Yep. Okay. Bye, baby girl. See ya. See, See ya. ya. Woo! Awesome. Reliability. Yamaha is known for it. And it's something boaters value, because these days, few things are built to last. When we find something that is, we hold on to friendships, traditions, outboards, because every second on the water is sacred. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters choose Yamaha for the long run, for life, because reliability starts here. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Pathfinder Boats, Angler Driven. Free Fly Apparel, Comfort On, Adventure Out. Yeti Coolers, Built for the Wild. And by Smith, the experience is everything. You know, for me, that taking it to the next level or, or trying new things, whether it's fly design, hook, leader, everything like that you can change and maybe something that works a little better than it used to. I mean, it's so much further up than it was even 15 or 20 years ago. Like, I mean, the game Jared's playing, I mean, he is a sharp edge. Like, the guy's a weapon, you know, just spending time on that boat. 
with him and watching the little nuanced things that he does, it, it, I, I've got like 10 ideas now to apply where I fish. Go ahead, brother. You got this. They're going to snap on this. Go ahead. A couple feet in front of them, there's one passing too. Nice and easy. Here he comes. Got him. Pull. Trip, ship. Oh, God. He ate it and just charged. Big group of them. They're going to start daisy chaining, slash sliding around. Here you go, buddy. Oh, move it, move it, move it. Got him. Oh, move it slowly. Move it. Easy, easy. Got him. Wow. Wow, was that? Ah. Wow, was that ah. off? Go again. Go again. Oh, here he comes. Got him. Good job, buddy. Good job, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Mayday, mayday! Bye bye, son! Ah. Sorry about today, he's gonna do a jump right here, man. Uh, no. ah. <laughs> sick! Clearing! So sick! Clearing! Wow! Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> and he's off! Oh! Wow, was that awesome! Mm. Right here, 10 o'clock, coming in hot! Good job, buddy! Oh. <laughs> that was killer! Popped him. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I don't care. That's how a fish would jump. That's how a fish would jump. Oh. Oh. Sick. Bang, bang, bang. Man. You don't like that. Get out. <laughs> how do you not Woo! like that? How do you not like that? <sighs> Gnarly. Look at the fish. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Traeger Grills. Experience the evolution of fire. Simred Chart Plotters. Go with confidence. Mako Reels. Built to last, built to stop. And by Shimano Fishing Products and G Loomis Rods. Feel connected. And now, a minute from our conservation partner, Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. I'm Dr. Jennifer Rehage, professor at Florida International University and BTT Research Associate. As anglers and scientists, one of the main concerns we have is water quality. We're all familiar with the impacts of murky waters resulting from high nutrients, algal blooms, suspended sediments from seagrass dying. A new and less obvious aspect of water quality are contaminants such as pharmaceuticals. They may not cause any visible symptoms in our waters, but they can be a serious and persistent threat to our fisheries. Pharmaceuticals are the prescription medications we take to keep us healthy. There are about 5 billion prescriptions filled each year in the U.S. alone, yet there are no environmental regulations for the manufacturing, use, nor disposal of pharmaceuticals worldwide. Pharmaceutical pollution results from a lack of removal by wastewater treatment. Pharmaceuticals that enter our flats via discharge or leakage of this wastewater effluent. Our research in South Florida and the Caribbean is showing that pharmaceuticals are a problem for bonefish. Nearly all of 100 bonefish tested had pharmaceuticals in their blood, brain, and tissues with an average of five pharmaceuticals per bonefish. This list includes antidepressants, heart medications, and opiates. This level of exposure is extremely concerning for our flats fisheries. There's no doubt our fish are being negatively impacted by these drugs. Fixing this problem will require the removal of pharmaceutical contaminants from our waters. This will mean fixing and upgrading our wastewater infrastructure to remove pharmaceuticals and other pollutants and restore healthy waters for healthy fisheries. To learn more, visit btt.org. See him right at 12? Coming at you there? Yeah. We found them, boys. We got them. Go ahead, brothers. Just go off the left side, three feet in front of them, three feet past them, two hands strip it. Yep. That's going to be a bite. Move it slowly. Here he comes. He's already coming. Got him, baby. 
Here he goes, baby! Nicely done. Nicely done, buddy. Woo! Mm. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Finally made a cast I was proud of, and it happened to pay off. So, so proud of them, my boys. <laughs> so. oh. He about to jump right here. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> 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 an angry little elf. Angry elf. Good job, yeah. man. So cool, like how shallow this fish yeah. is. Yeah, I mean, there's so some cool. shallow water. He came up and loved it. Perfect hook set. Oh. You know, photography, videography, just you're seeing all this incredible stuff with fish and I just felt the need to capture it. I want to capture that and like, look, look how cool this is. It's amazing to me, like, and people have responded to that, you know. I'm really into the photography aspect of it right now. I love it. I don't know, a year, year and a half ago, project with Yeti, uh, Yeti Tarpon book. Uh, it was the first Yeti Presents in print, and it's myself and probably 30 other photographers. And just a compilation of photos that kind of encompass the culture with tarpon fishing. And you know, if you know nothing about a tarpon and you look through that book, I think you're gonna be pretty interested in that fish, so. Hey, little Come fella. Come on, buddy, right there, another jump. Oh, the shark's getting upset. That little shark. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes. I think, you know, the tarpon lends itself so amazingly to imagery, you know? Uh, a, it jumps out of the water. B, it's huge. Uh, and they're just beautiful animals. Making a book about them is pretty pretty easy, you know? There's a lot of, uh, a lot of subject matter there with the tarpon. I mean, there's just endless different situations to take their photo and chronicle them. Right here, pull on. Beautiful. Oh, here it goes. Might jump right here. Yeah. Might do a jump right here. <laughs> Come here, little fella. Oh. You know, that's the one thing that is cool about the smaller fish is how much they jump. Yes. Just trying to scare them all the way around. Swing him. Oh. Nice and steady there. Coming right to your hands. Nice and easy. Angry. 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 Woo, baby. Look at that. He's not Sweet. done. He's not done yet. I'm going to grab my camera and shoot a pick of him. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh. All right. Stand by. Let me get a pick. Perfect fish. Beautiful. I'm going to get in from this other side of you. I got that fly in there. That's a cool shot. That's beautiful, huh? Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Good job. All right, man. Good nice. job, dude. I'm going to get this thing going. Flies out. All right, flies out. <laughs> Talk about the tail. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> nice, buddy. Mm. Oh, God, I love it. I'm all slimed up, man. Okay. You know, I don't want to elk hunt, turkey hunt, or golf because I'm too afraid of getting obsessed with any of those things. I stay away from them because I cannot have any more things that I'm into. So. Another one. Mr. Mangum is doing his thing. Let's do it again. Do it again. Do it, do it again, again. Do it again. Awesome. Thanks, man. Oh, Sick. thank you. I love that stuff. I love that stuff. Uh, it never I gets can do old, it all man. Day long. It never gets old. I can do it my whole life, right? Wow, is that? I don't, know, I don't know if there is somebody that's more obsessed with Tarman than you are, but uh, I'm, I'm there. Yeah, I think. Uh, I'm there, but I, you know, I, I think like you might be stuff. there. Awesome. Sweet, man. Like that. Hip -hip 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 -hip. <laughs> Look at that thing, dude. <laughs> oh. Get out. If you don't like it, change the channel, son.